What is going on everyone and welcome back to our Dream Team Chronicles series episode 9. It's been a while, it's been a while, but we are still, these gameplay videos, these gameplay videos are from V1.1.2 and we are just training up a couple of new players that we have not really played with yet. Cloud Makalele, who is an absolute demon in the game. He's just such a beast lads, a DMF. Him and Vieira are just like, they're unbelievable. They are unbelievable. They're like Gandalf, you shall not pass. And we also got Roberto Carlos, one of my favorite players ever in a PES game or an eFootball game. We're going to max him out as well as best we can. And he is a unit. I mean, Roberto Carlos is probably one of the best players in the game stat-wise. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 stamina, and then all the rest of the stats. You got 82 aggression as well. He is an absolute beast. Now we do spin one, all I wanted to do was spin one here and uh, hopefully get Marcus Lorente because I do want to train him up as well because he is an absolute tank in the game. He's got amazing stats and I hear a lot of good things about him. So we do actually get Marcus Lorente in that as you guys can see there, luckily enough. And then this is the squad that we're going to be using. So we have Upper Meccano in, we have Cloud Makalele and Roberto Carlos in. We're still playing this formation with one man up front and we are going to be playing this yeah this guy's opponent he was very 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 direct let's see how we get on so straight from the rip lads this guy was pretty much just being as direct as he possibly could be and a lot of people play that way now i have played a bit of v1.1.4 which released today this gameplay is from last week i just didn't get a chance to upload it um and do the commentary and stuff on it on it because i've been quite busy but this gameplay to me is just like there was so many issues i was having with it the passing the pressing there was no real possession play it just felt off man it just felt really off these three games you'll see in the second or third match in this episode I actually get one of my heaviest defeats. Some guy absolutely pummels me and destroys me. I think it ends up like 5-2 or 6-2. I can't remember the scoreline, but I just completely lost the head and just switched off. Um, and I was just getting super aggressive and, uh, you know, agitated with the game. And I don't really like getting like that because if the game isn't playing well for me, I just switch it off and I'll play something else. You know, I'm not going to stay... Um, playing something that I'm not enjoying, you know what I mean, the game has issues, they need to rectify some of those issues, and I just want it to be a fun experience, I mean, there you go again, like with Neymar, it's just a frustrating experience sometimes, now, as I said, I have played a bit of V1.1.4, and my impressions of it were that it is slightly improved, it seems to be much better, the collision system, the referee's decisions, and the actual uh, defensive AI and defensive pressure and assistance still needs a lot of work, but I do think it is better than what the gameplay is you're seeing here because these were three or four of my frustrating matches of my most frustrating matches that I had played. Now, like at the end of the day, some of the mistakes are my fault. Some of them are me just not concentrating and losing the head and going Roy Keane style and just, you know, wanting to get red cards and stuff. But when you're not able to do what you want to do nine times out of ten, it's very frustrating. You know, balls just go in over their heads and they have no awareness to it. And this game was a very, very, very frustrating one because it was nil all all the way up until like the 71st minute. I was trying everything. I was trying to, you know, attack through the middle, attack through out wide. I was actually being very patient. This was a great move of mine. Romario probably shouldn't have hit that back out to Davies, but it's a brilliant ball in, but I just can't get on the end of it. And that kind of summed up everything. But I do keep trying. I keep plugging away, lads. And as you see here with Carlos, he slaps it into Cloud. Cloud is going to take a lovely ball in. Messi, beautiful shot with the R3 flick up, stick up. Absolutely insane goal from Messi. And that is the difference sometimes with your star players, your, your legends and stuff like that. They do come to the fore. So that was in Division 7. We decided to mix it up because uh, I wasn't sure what squad I was going to use for uh, the divisions and stuff. But we decided to mix it up with the worldwide clubs. So we do face this guy who's playing a 2-5-3 formation. Yes, you read that right. And he was playing Rodrigo, center back. So I don't know what some people do be doing, man. I know that they're only playing it to try and get a couple of um, points and training points and stuff. But I genuinely don't know why you just wouldn't spend, you know, like 100,000 GP that you can get very, very easily. And just, you know, build a, build a kind of a solid team. Because, like, you're just not going to be able to compete with a team like mine who's, you know, very, very stacked team like and I think most players have stacked teams now at the moment so playing Rodrigo centre back 
yeah, it wasn't really good. Now, this guy did play a sub-tactic. I think that's what he was trying to do, but it didn't really make a difference. I was just walking through his defense, and this is why I do think they need to bring in filters, lads. It, it needs to come in, because it's not fair that a guy like this, even though he is playing a 2-5-3 formation, it's not fair that he's coming up against me, who's got, like, you know, a serious, seriously much more um, dominant team strength than him. You know what I mean? Like, even if he was to play a normal formation... Like, the players that I have at my disposal are just going to give me opportunities and interceptions that he's not going to get. Like, Claude Makalele and Neymar and stuff. It's just, you know, obviously there is a, mi a mismatch in the squads. Um, but then, as I said, I'm not going to show any mercy. You know what I mean? I'm just going to beat him. We do get promotion from that in the in the thing. That was the first one. We just needed a point, as far as I know. Um to be able to get that through and get that division through and then from there then we were actually going to go in and play another match so yeah it was going to be one of those things that at the end of the day um the boys celebrate here you can't really you know choose who you play against it's not my fault you know i obviously want to have as many fair games as possible but this was the match i was telling you about so this guy was playing a very overpowered meta formation 3-4-3 so he had campbell van dyke and marquinhos he had kimmich and de bruyne and goal are in midfield and then he had salah and raul up front with Lewandowski. um i actually got off to a brilliant start and then the connection just took a serious dive. I don't know what happened. It It was like around the 15 minute mark. As you see here, I get off to a brilliant start. He gets a goal straight away, but I had no complaints about this. I mean, obviously, look, shit happens, lads. If you're going to be playing online and frustrating things, even if you do everything right defensively, you're going to concede goals like this. You know what I mean? It, it just is what it is. There's nothing that you can really do about it. I got off to a brilliant start, but from here, I'd say around the 50 minute, when I was seeing stuff like this happen, the gameplay just took a complete dive. Now, I did, a ma I did an episode or a video where I featured all these clips already, um, and I think it was V1.4, what I want to see, and it was kind of like an analysis of the issues with eFootball at the moment with V1.1.2, but it was just so weird, man. It was like, it was just like so stuttered, so stop-start. It wasn't laggy. It was just that I didn't feel any control over my players. Now, you won't see it as much when I'm scoring goals and stuff, but you will see it like here, right? I'm like this guy, look, right? He was a good player and I don't like to, you know, he, he absolutely smashed me and GG's and all that. But it was like his team was defending for him. You see that like the contextual, like, you know, diving John Terry kind of clearance from the header. And that was a big turning point in the game because it's two all. I should have intercepted him there with Neymar. I just literally run side by side and have no attention to the ball ball just transports to my players comes in and i have to work so hard to keep it out but he was getting a lot of pressure on the ball i thought the ball was gone out here as you can see i'm standing up a peel and then i realized oh the ball isn't actually gone out i'm trying to switch it switch it switch it he does a lovely skill move puts it into a dangerous area and it's a really really nice finish but from here like it was just really labored man and i tried everything you can see there another diving header from, from van dyke He's not doing that. The AI is doing that for him. It's like playing his AI was like legend difficulty AI. And he was a decent enough player that because the AI were defending for him, again, I get caught in the wrong side here. That's just a mistake for me. I'll own that. Ball goes in and it's an own goal. GG's, that's what happens when you make a mistake. But here, I mean, I'm just standing up with up a Meccano. I get the block in and I'd already committed to the foul. The head was gone, lads. The head was gone at this stage. And I just said to him, right, I'm going to try and go through the middle. Look at that for a keeper. And it gets worse, man. It gets worse. It was just like the passing was so bad, so poor, so slow, so lazy. Um, a lot of it was my fault, but a lot of it was the game. This was just, you can see me inside there, like absolutely fighting for control of my center of halves. I, I literally could not look, I could not get control of Vieira there for about five seconds, lads, genuinely. And then it comes in with the big donkey kick and he puts a ball into the, in a, into a dangerous area. Um, and he wins, you know, win beats me quite comprehensively. But again, no excuses, but loads of excuses because I'm not a 7-2 loss player. I know I'm usually tighter than that, um, but it is what it is. You're going to get bad games. And this game was no different. 4-3-3, this guy was playing a seriously attacking formation going through the middle. And this was a really, really weird game as well. I just literally could not do much on the ball. You'll see a couple of instances here where the collisions are the thing that I start to notice the most when... The gameplay doesn't feel smooth. When the gameplay is kind of smooth, the ref, I find, and it may be just a placebo, but I find that the ref blows a lot more when the connection is smooth. And I'm like, yeah, this feels good. Even if I lose, even if I go down, and as you'll see in the start of this game, this game was just a super weird one. But when I get, this is a really good goal from him, brilliant goal from him, really stylish. 
and Lewandowski puts it into the, the corner from a header. No complaints really about that. I mean, you're going to get bad connections in the game or whatever. No complaints about that. That's fine. But from here, I do get like so many like weird chances. You can see here Romario into Messi. Messi is just going to slot this home across the goal. Brilliant finish again from Lionel Messi. He's been, he's been good in this episode, lads, as we go marching on. But yeah, it was just weird, man. It was just like there was so many interceptions, so many bobbles, so many things where this guy wasn't even really defending me that well. I was getting lots of pockets of space, but as soon as he committed, I was literally just not able to, to, to score or to not able to actually get the ball into an area. Now, we do score a lovely stunning cross-assisted goal there, and Romario is going to finish those in, lads, left foot, right foot with his head, with his mickey. It doesn't matter. He'll He'll pop it in any way he can. He'll get that ball into the back of the net. But there, outrunning with um, with Messi, 100 overall Messi, just not able to turn sharp enough, like slow, laggy, um, you know, just not able to, to, to get control of it. And again there, like trying to pass the button, trying to press the button, and, you know, it, it results in him getting really a good chance only for Maldiners getting back. Again, lovely ball out there, get lucky with it. Now Neymar's going to go big, huge, heavy touch. Now I know that they've addressed some of these issues with the heavy touches and the inconsistent touches from players in the last patch notes that they did for V1.1.4. But watching back this gameplay, it was a very frustrating experience. So like even playing it like was more frustrating, obviously. But watching it back was super frustrating. I literally had to walk the ball in and cut the angle to make sure that I was going to score. But we do get through the second round of that one as well. We do get a 3-1 win. It was, it was challenging, lads. It was really, really challenging. Um, but that is it for me for episode 9. I hope you guys are enjoying these. We are going to be back with some more divisions quite soon as we try and march up to division 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and get up again. But the boys are going to enjoy that victory and we will take the points and the trainer points. Let me know what you guys are thinking. As I said, this is V1.1.2 gameplay, so we will be back quite soon with the most updated gameplay for divisions. Until next time, lads, don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe. Peace.